welcome to my sitecore diaries so this is sitecore 10.net developer certification preparation series part 6 so today we will be uh, seeing a few basic concept of a headless and JSS. at this series we are concentrating on sitecore certification we won't be having uh, in detail uh, of each topic but we will try to cover the important points with a few practice questions set for detailed understanding i will share a few reference and link uh, we will also have the separate videos when we will go into the advanced thing currently we uh, in the other series we are having we are we are working on the basic and uh, concept of a sidecore once we move to there to sidecore headless then we will have a detailed videos but these videos are more concentrated or only on the few basic uh important terminology important concept which are related to the which will help us to the uh, uh study the certificate for the certification purpose or which will help us to uh, answer the questions in the certification so i am jitendra ghanekar i am sitecore architect from mumbai uh, so let uh, i uh, i hope you have already subscribed to our channel if you not then please subscribe to our channel please click on a bell icon to get a latest update or uh, our latest videos from our uh, uh, channel and if you like our videos please click on a like button please share those videos with your friends and provide your feedback by, by adding uh, the by putting the comments on those videos so let's start so let's start with the basic concept what is headless CMS first of all what is headless as the term says body without a head so in in technology term the body is nothing but the content and the 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 face means the front end uh, uh, the head means the front end okay so headless cms means content without a front end website so headless cms only cares about how you are storing the data and how uh, the content and how will you delivering those uh, the content uh, to the others uh, to the website okay but it is doesn't care about how does that content is getting displayed or where does that content is getting displayed that is not a part, not not in the scope of a headless cms so that, that this is this that is what uh, this is what a headless cms a headless cms means a content without a front end website so let's uh, see this uh, image which will explain more in headless and uh, CMS and coupled CMS. So if you see headless CMS, we have an admin panel, content repository. In coupled CMS also we have an admin panel and content repository. But in the headless CMS, it is more a contained API. Contained API which will provide you the content in the, it may be a different JSON format, external format, whatever you, a CMS which you are using okay whereas in the coupled cms you have presentation service it decides it's present your content so it have a presentation service which will help you to display your content on the web mobile app desktop or whatever the channel you are having but in contain api you just deliver it to, to the uh, front end website now it doesn't matter for a container uh, headless cms that whether the your what technology you are using or how you are displaying that data so this is called headless cms now how site code supports this headless cms so there are three ways uh site code supports the headless cms first is a legacy method where we use item service okay so item service is is it's a rest api okay we, we, which you can use for the headless it's not a true headless uh, in terms but it is the way which is we, we used to do it and legacy website now also you can use item service but this is the legacy uh, uh, way of doing it okay now you have a jss and sxa so jss uh, sitecore from sitecore 9.1 they introduced the jss and it is more advanced now with uh, sp.net core renderings in the sitecore 10 so jss jss is a true headless offering as it returns serialized presentation detail as well as support for a tracking and analytics so it, it does supports for the tracking analytics also so 
it's also support the experience editor which is a true uh, headless uh, offering this layout service to support front end apps which is angular or react or vue or any if the js framework uh, you can use for the js then sxa sxa also uses a layout service this also a true headless offering from site code sxa you can have mvc also so it, it is a combination so sxa also uh, use layout service and it can provide you the true headless offering Let's move on. Let's see uh, at high level how does the site core headless uh, work? Okay, so in any website you have a three kind of any CMS uh, based website you have a three kind of a role. First is the site uh, the content authors. Okay, who will update the content? Uh, who can create the uh, forms? Uh, uh, who can have a, a multilingual uh, translation updated all those activities uh, authors can do customer authors can do so so site in the site code cms you they can they can log into their workstation through the browser and they can go to the in the site code instance we have a site code launch pad when you log in into the site code CMS, we have a site code launch pad and then they can perform like uh, the, their activity like updating the content uh, uh, working on the experience editor to design the component okay so that activity they can perform from the cms the second role is a developer who who creates those uh, template for the cms okay they write the code or any customization they want to do for for the uh, the the managing the template in sitecore 10 they can use the sitecore cli with visual studio or they can directly uh, use the command line interface okay so they will manage it while in the sitecore instance sitecore management service will manage it uh from sitecore 10 onwards they can use the sp.net rendering also okay so so these are the developer jobs who will, will set up the uh, framework whereas the visitor will visit the website okay so that website is hosted in the headless separately and the, it, uh, it it just pull the data from the headless uh, service okay so this is how uh, at a high level uh, the headless uh, architecture or a basic basic uh, concept will uh, will have in the site code okay so you you will have a, 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 a the the site core owner who owns these uh, uh, the the code by the developer the code and the the template owned by the developers the CMS will uh, own by the authors and then the, we have a web server which, which will host uh, which will have the rendering host to display the website to display the render the website so let's see uh, application modes now a uh, jss application mode uh, I, as i said earlier that i am i am not going in detail of the uh, each topic so it may not be in sequence also so some of i am picking up uh, the two topics where the question might come so this is one of the topic with the application mode uh, we have a different different application mode which we can use in the different environment developer environment and environment and uh, the production environment so in development environment you can have a disconnected mode connected mode integrated mode and api only mode we will see each mode okay uh, in detail but i'm just telling you what are the modes which is used where so development environment you can have a disconnected mode connected mode integrated mode and api only mode whereas the production environment you can have a headless server side integrated mode and the api only mode okay. so disconnected mode okay as name is suggested uh, suggest it is disconnected from the site code okay so uh, this is a mode where data is mocked using a local file instance so uh, upper site code in instance so if you see here the diagram here you have a mock site code proxy so you are not connected to the site code instance instead of that you are mocking site code okay so it is independent of a site code you can you can work without site code okay so in this is generally used by the front end developers okay who who can develop their application on their own in the javascript framework whatever the preferred language they have okay and the the data layer or the contain layer they will they can use the json file yml file which will be a mocking of a site code okay so they can mock the site code json or yml file and that uh, will they will they will develop the application in that mode only they can test the application they without any site code compatibility you can say it's a hardcore content which is coming from the files static files 
okay so this is this is used only in the uh, development uh, uh, environment <coughs> connected mode now as uh, uh, the name again it suggests connected so it is connected to the side code okay so this mode uh, what happens is in first mode you use the side code proxy here you will use the actual side code instance what generally when we use a connected mode generally we have a uh, if you if your javascript application team has used the disconnected mode where they have developed the application on their own so with the proxy then you use uh, when you want to integrate with the side code then it is a connected mode will come in picture here what you will do is you will uh, you will um, get that uh, uh, application and you will install this is a mode where sitecore instance needed and sitecore hold the contain and component details and get access via the data data calls and as as uh, application built in the disconnected mode can be imported in the connected mode so basically as i am saying that this this application which is built in the disconnected mode you can import that in the connected mode so that the uh, the side core will automatically build the corresponding templates and layout based on the json and the yml which you have used in the disconnected mode okay uh, in the connected mode data comes from the site core via layout service dictionary service or graphql api via http so basically uh, both are the use uh, for the development uh, environment so uh, whatever kind of uh, uh, to say uh, the capacity which you are having if you might have a javascript uh, developers you might have a site core developers depending on that you the developers can choose this mode So next uh, is uh, integrated mode. This mode allows content author to manage content presentation and other marketing features for your JSS app using Sitecore Experience Editor. JSS app is hosted within the Sitecore instance and, and complete HTML is rendered at server side by Sitecore. So here you have a Node.js and SSR host, okay, and uh, the site code instance and your site code database. So here uh, the additional thing here, what is happening is your 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 um, contain authors also manages the data, and the most important thing is that the uh, the rendering is also handled by the site code, okay. So your JSS app is basically hosted within the site code. In this mode, rendering is performed by a server using SSR. Okay, server side rendering by node instances or orchestrated by site code or via remote rendering host. Configuration of the application is required within the site code. So it is managed within the site code. Okay, so your JSS app is within the site code. Now headless server mode. Now this is truly a, a, a you can say a headless. Okay here this mode is allowed users to utilize sitecore as a headless cms with a full support of marketing personalized engine support this mode allows for running your app and any platform that support node.js express opening up expensive rendering engine scaling so here you your your application is hosted separate can be hosted separately it can it doesn't matter for the cms okay it just provide you the headless data at the same time it supports the marketing and personalized engine and now after seeing all those four uh, thing you must you now observe that first thing the connected and disconnected may not be useful in the production environment because in production environment you will need uh, cms to uh, authors to do all the things right uh, they, they want to use a experience editor also so that's the reason why we are saying here is the headless server side and integrated mode should be used in the production environment but disconnected mode connected mode can be used in the development environment okay let's see now the last one uh, that is api only mode so let's see the last uh, uh, mode here api only mode so as the name suggests it's a api only so it it, it, it is used as a api so it is a completely site code headless api where you use a directly a data in the json format okay this mode does not support expense editor there is no expense editor here you it is just basically you create a contain and there be and and this uh, and uh, expose your data uh, expose your content via the json api so this is called a api only mode 
Now let's see if when this a, a mode is used. Okay, first is the disconnected mode. When there is a no sidecore uh, instance, so you started a development, but there is no sidecore instance, then you can go for a disconnected mode. Availability of a JavaScript or a front end developers who doesn't have much knowledge of sidecore. So you have a team who is expert in Angular, React, then you go for a uh, go for a uh, disconnected mode as you don't have a sidecore resources there. You want to separate the uh, separation of a concern between the team like you want sidecore cms team different completely branded different uh, at the at the time of development then you go for a disconnected mode connected mode uh, this is used when you want to develop any application and you want to test it while using sidecore so disconnected mode you develop it but you want to use it with uh, uh, tested it, test it then you go for a sidecore integrated mode it is basically when you use uh, the want to use the sidecore as as a traditional cms or the way you are currently your authors are using uh, okay so that kind the coupled cms then you can go for an integrated board where authors needs to manage not only the content presentation and marketing functionality headless server mode this is truly uh, the headless so you want to decouple your uh, presentation and the uh, uh, the content then you go for a headless server mode this is a completely uh, headless um, you can use a multi-channel api use and the api only mode when there is no experience the support editor support is required uh, you want to support any mobile app or chatbot then you go for api only mode. let's see a few uh, more concept code first approach and the uh, sidecore first approach what is code first approach uh, we have already seen the connected and disconnected mode okay where the disconnected mode you do not uh, uh, connect to the sidecore and then you de you develop the application and then you develop the sidecore that is uh, that is somewhat what we call as a code first approach this allows non sidecore developer to develop the jss app using the local mock content that is a disconnected mode okay without a sidecore instance and later import that application into the sidecore which create the necessary structure to support the app this is called as a code first approach when to use it when sidecore instance is not available in the prototype or a design phase team is more equipped with the psycho skill than a front-end application is more uh, content oriented and simple application is a built by external front-end team than the psycho team Sidecore first approach. This allows a sidecore developers to develop a JSS application more than in a traditional way where you first create a design element that is templates and writing. So basically you design your sidecore the way you are currently developing your applications right in the normal MVC. You develop your rendered uh, uh, sidecore templates rendering and then later create uh, connects to the JSS app. In this approach you get the data directly from the sidecore. Okay, that is a connected mode basically. So when to use this when sidecore instance is available for all the developers, team is more equipped with the sidecore skills than a front-end application. Uh, application. Uh, when the application is a complex and use many advanced sidecore features, uh, JSS app will be deployed in a version using the same deployment process. Okay. So this is the link where you can go and check the, uh, I will be sharing this in description where for the headless uh, deploy, uh, development uh, with sidecore. We will be continuing with the uh, headless and the uh, sp.net core in the next uh, part. Also, I'm I I'm breaking the I I'm breaking this uh, into the multiple parts. Okay, so for today we will be we will be stopping here. So any question you can connect to me on my email address and also on the LinkedIn ID. So today we are stopping here in the next part we will be uh, uh, checking the uh, more details about the uh, uh, headless architecture we will see what is layout service import service renderings uh, uh, engine uh, uh, also sp.net core and also we will go through the practice questions if you like my video please click on a like button please share this with your uh, friends and colleagues uh, please comment to provide the feedback uh, uh, 
there are there are lot of users who are not yet uh, subscribed to the channel so please uh, subscribe to the channel that will motivate me to do such uh, videos more frequently uh, please click on a bell icon to get latest update uh, on the videos thank you thanks for watching